Where's that treasure? Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Uh, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the U.S. Mint. Uh, I like to go on there every once in a while, kind of catch up, see what's coming up. Is there anything hot on the horizon? And I got to say, it's a total disappointment. <laughs> uh, the rest of this year is nothing but fluff and garbage from the U.S. Mint. I'm not super surprised. Uh, the Liberty Bucking Bronco coin, that's the only thing I've picked up from the Mint this year. Uh, I would have gotten the Morgans or the Peace Dollars. They canceled them. Uh, I've heard that they're no longer making any more Gold Eagles or Silver Eagles the rest of this year, which is crazy because those are what sell. So are we in a silver shortage? Are we not in a silver shortage? What's, what's really going on? Let's take a look at the U.S. Mint site and uh, see if we can see anything good this year and, uh, and what's coming up on the horizon. All right, so we're up on their site and I pulled up uh, basically the 2022 schedule. This has not been an awesome year for coins, at least not from the U.S. Mint. Usually there's some things to look out for, something fun, something interesting. Now, I do got to say, I do like these medals. I think they're pretty neat. Uh, this is a Coast Guard silver medal, one ounce. And at 65 bucks, I feel like these used to be more at 65 bucks, I might get one for my father-in-law. He's actually a retired Coast Guard guy. That's kind of neat. Uh, but as we keep on going, you know, now we're into October. We just had the Franklin Pierce Presidential Silver Medal that had dropped. I mean, that's... Uh, I don't hear anybody talking about Franklin Pierce. Let's just say that. Uh, but as we go... Look at this, fluff, puff pieces, Mighty Minter's Mint Holiday Ornament, United States Mint Holiday Ornament, American Women's Quarter 2022 Rolls and Bags. Uh, we have something possibly worth some money, the limited edition silver proof set, and that's on the 26th. That is from the San Francisco Mint. And, uh, you know, this is... It's a proof set. I mean, it looks like we got a few cool quarters in there. Obviously being proof, these would be silver. Um, I mean, am I, am I gonna rush out and get this proof set? No. And look at the George Washington. Man, I don't know what they did to him, but I don't like it, right? Uh, it does have your American Silver Eagle in it. Also a half dollar and a dime. That's cool. You know, I, this is all pretty underwhelming. For the low, low price of $201, uh, I'm not pumped about it. I'm not a buyer. So that's it. And then we get to the very end, American Innovation Coin, Reverse Proof Set. If you've been following those, there really just isn't any anyone collecting them. Uh, look, this is not the kind of crap I want to pick up from the U.S. Mint. Like this? I mean, I guess if you're getting your kid into it, maybe, that could be fun, but it's just disappointing. I want I want Morgans and Peace Dollars. That's what I want. Uh, this is the only thing I bought this year from the Mint, and uh, and it was a big, fat mess. Now, I do want to mention, because I did get a viewer that let me know, this is back up for sale. So this is the American Liberty 2022 silver medal. Uh, this was for sale months ago. Hot coin. We all got it. It sold out. Then they came back, sold some more, sold out. Then they came back, sold some more, sold out. They're currently still selling. So they have a, a limit of 75000 you can get this coin or sorry metal right now 
You know, the only thing is it had that thinning on the edge, right? Mine was completely off center. One side was really thin. One side of the rim was very thick. I hope they fix that. And I, and I really have no idea. So that's the United States Mint. Hot garbage this year. Um, disappointing. I mean, last year it was like, Boom, boom, boom. We had the Privy. We had the Mayflower. We had, I mean, there was stuff, right? And they had the Morgans and they had the Peace Dollars. And it was just stuff all year. There was something to keep an eye on. And now there just is not, man. This has been a rough one. Tell me your thoughts. Disappointed? Do you think it sucks? There we go. There's the Navy one. My son was in the Navy. Now, this is more the price I was thinking. These are the more expensive, but it's a two and a half ounce silver medal. And uh, it looks as though they sold out. So, I mean, maybe they sold something out. Now, while I've got you, I do want to give a shout out to Mark Lewis. Boom. Sent me this rad holographic sticker. And uh, I, in return, have sent him my rad stickers. Very cool. Check him out if you like what he's got. Give him a subscribe. He's got some very cool numismatic stuff going on. And we all know I love numismatics. That's my jam now. Hey, thank you guys for watching. That's it for this Thursday update. The U.S. Mint sucks. Tell me if you agree or disagree. We'll see you all next time. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>